Hey everyone, welcome back. I have been working with lots of fabrics and I wanted to just do a quick video to show some of my favorite ways to use fabric. I'm sure none of them are new, but maybe they'll remind you of things that you haven't used for a while and give you a little inspiration. So you've seen this book a hundred times now <laughs> and I wanted to show you, let me raise this up just a bit. I wanted to show you some of the ways I'm using fabric in it, not to mention the cover is fabric. I love using fabric on my covers. They're very, it's so versatile. I mean, you can, and I, and I usually always use bubble mailers in the middle because I like the sound. And here's another one of my fabric covers. And this one will be ring bound. It's not done yet, but I'm just using it to show I have so many fabric covers started and you know none of them completed it's just one of my favorite ways to recycle those bubble mailers or brown packaging cover them with fabric and you get great sound and texture okay so in this journal I made the you know the decorated pockets out of bags I think I used packaging too. No, brown paper bags. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do with that page. And these are just fabric flips. And I love how they look. I've always wondered what's the purpose of a fabric flip. And I'm still not really sure. I'm sure everybody has a different purpose for them. But my, my reason is, for one, decoration. I mean, you pull it out. It's kind of a hidden decoration too because... You know, who's going to think that it's anything more than this piece of fabric? So you have your hidden journaling spot. I like to use them for, I think of it like whoever gets the journal might like to, to cut this off or cut bits and pieces off. And so you have your laces, different fi fabrics and fibers to use throughout your journal. That's kind of how I think of them just another way a more a prettier way to give textures and fabrics to use throughout the journal and then this one is also a fabric flip this is tea dyed file folder and I've just you know layered up some pretty fabrics and laces and So you have your journaling spots and beautiful pieces that you can use throughout your journal. So that's one way that I like to use them is in the flips. I also love, of course, to use them as just dangles. Just put on different pieces, maybe a little charm, a little stamped fabric, and put little bits and pieces of different things on a ball pin and as you can already tell this isn't really a tutorial because nothing I'm doing probably needs it explained really I'm just showing you different things that I do so this one has a little metal piece different fabrics laces some burlap and again I think these are perfect to hang from your journal and it gives the person or yourself different fibers fabrics to use throughout the journal so those are two ways. My probably my favorite way is of course stamping. And I've again just made a little that can hang from a dangle, but you can use stamping in so many ways. Like I've taken doilies and they were colored, wasn't that pretty, so I cut it and did some stamping for my Christmas ones. And these, you know, I would either sew on the top of a page just as a little pretty flip or sew it onto some another file folder as you know kind of like in the other one as a flip or something that you could use I love these I love stamping on fabric I also love and this one you can see is still sewn together because you can do these in such a mass make you just keep running them through your sewing machine I like making little fabric samples and tucking them in 
into journals because then again it gives all these different fabrics they can use throughout the you can use I say they because usually I don't use my own journals but and then not you have all these fabrics you can use throughout your journal and I like to top it with a really pretty lace or something and I don't backstitch this so they're always easy just to take a little ripper and it comes right out and you have all of these beautiful pieces to use in your journal. Look at that lace. Isn't it pretty? And it's so soft. And I, you know, I usually do two to four pieces of fabric and a little swatch like that. I think those, those are pretty. Another thing, again, these, nothing earth shattering here. I just like taking fabric and making little notepads out of them. This is calculator tape that I tea dyed over the summer and it's perfect width to do a two inch by two inch piece of fabric and fold over the top and again I just put a little piece of lace and here I put a little eyelet with one of my homemade charms and just scrunched up some threads little stamped piece on this one I think there's a little burlap piece in there so many ways that you can do these and, you know, tuck them in your journals. They're nice for happy mail because they're, they're really flat. That's three of them. But, I mean, look how flat they are. If you put them in happy mail or, you know, as a... I like to put them in gifts for my Etsy. Another way I like to do fabrics is... See, this one's embossed. You can see the little pumpkins there. Can't see it so much on this fabric. But what I do is I glue it to packing paper like this, just brown packing paper. And I use a good glue for fabric like Fabri-Tac. Glue it down kind of like a master board, just strips and pieces of fabric and glue them on. This was a file folder and here's where the tab actually was. So I left it and just stamped it. And after you glue it, I'm getting ahead of myself. Glue it to the packing paper. Wait for it to dry. Run it through your embossing machine. Like I said, it's a little bit hard to see on some of the colors. Some of the colors you can see the embossing really good. And on the tag. Trying to, but they're pumpkins. The embossing is pumpkins. And so after it's dry, I run it through the embossing machine. And then I sewed it because... You know, an embossed piece of paper is not easy to write on. So, um, sorry, I have ink all over my fingers. So then I sew it to something sturdier, like this tea dyed file folder. And this is just a nice big writing spot that we'll tuck in somewhere. Made a tag out of one and put a little pocket on the front with, again, that pe a piece of file folder. Put a lot of, you know fabrics and fibers at the top and then of course I tried to stuff all of them through that little hole couldn't get this one through it was just hanging there and I thought oh I like that look of part of it being down on the tag so I just left it I thought that was pretty so I love love to emboss them you can also put these on envelopes glue glue to the front of the envelope then run the envelope through still use your envelope as you know, something to tuck down into your, or glue on, or whatever. So, let's see, we have, I've shown you six things, and like I said, my very favorite thing is fabric, using fabric is journal covers. And I wanted to show you another little thing. These tags made me think of it. Sometimes I show the tips and, you know, I'm sure you're thinking, well, yeah, everybody knows that. But I honestly didn't. And thanks to wonderful subscribers and people that comment, I've learned some really good tips. And, like, if you have a thread like this that's the metallic and shiny, or if it's really, really thin. When I first got my sewing machine, I didn't realize that I couldn't sew with this. It won't work. It just knots up and it's too thin. I'm sure it will on some sewing machines machines it won't on mine so i was really upset because i you know you pay for these and then you can't use them 
And a good friend of mine sent me some, I don't know if you can see it, the thread is like a variegated metallic thread. And I used it on these. And when I got it, it came in, you know, one of the tall spools. And again, it's really thin. So I thought, great, I'm not going to be able to use it on my sewing in my sewing machine. And then someone let me know that if you fill your bobbin with a normal thread that you would normally use in your sewing machine, put that color bobbin in, you can use this on the top. You can put whatever, because if you'll notice, the backs of mine are brown. So I had regular thread in my bobbin, and then I put my pretty decorative thread on the top, and it works just fine. It feeds through great, and then you get to use your beautiful threads, and it won't tear up your sewing machine. I just wanted to say that, you know, until I started junk journaling, I haven't sewed since high school. And, you know, without my age, telling my age, that's been a very long time ago. The last time I sewed was in home ec, and we were making, I was making sweatpants, sewed my pant legs together where you couldn't put your legs in them. I mean, there was no hole. I sewed it together. So the home ec teacher asked me nicely to please not sew anymore, and she would finish it for me, which she did, and I didn't sew anymore. So I tell you things like this, you know, little tips that I learned because I think that there's probably more people than just me that didn't sew until they started junk journaling. And then it's just to sew on paper. I mean, yes, I'm show sewing fabric to paper, paper, but I'm not actually making a shirt or, you know, pants that don't have leg holes or, you know, whatever. But I'm just trying to say, I'm not trying to say that other people is are as silly as me, but there's got to be somebody else, land sakes, that didn't know this tip, you know, just say, I know that these are just really simple, easy things that probably everybody is already doing, but I thought I would share them with you. Um, if any of these things by chance you haven't seen and you would like to know how to make them, let me know. I can, I can certainly do a tutorial. I mean, I, again, I don't think they need it. These are pretty self-explanatory and the covers you know oh, I do love the covers so just to recap I would say my favorite is journal covers I love making journal covers out of fabric and in no certain order for the rest we have fabric flips and stamping little notepads the fifth way is our clusters charm dangles if you will number six is our fabric samples and last but certainly not least our writing spots and tags that have been embossed very pretty so i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe got some good ideas or reminded you of ideas that you already had and I, this is laying here wouldn't that be cute just pinned on the front of the the cover like that that looks good doesn't it i like that huh maybe i'll another thing this reminds me of another thing is to use a fabric as and i think i've done this before i think my friend i think i did it at one of my christmas ones is to use a you know, 8 by 11 piece of fabric, put it in your journal like you would a normal page, and you have a fabric page. Why would you want a fabric page? Well, you can pin stuff to it. You can pin pictures to it, things that you want to move around and not necessarily stay in your book. You know, I'm going to do a lot of, with the rusty paper clips, like these, when I hang them, will have a rusty paper clip and maybe a charm hanging like on these pockets here, I'm going to hang some rusty paper clips probably from the top. Like this one has a empty spot over here. So I'm going to take one of mine, put a little charm on it. Maybe, you know, one of these little metal charms or one of my, you know, homemade charms. Something like this would look cute hanging from it. I hope you guys like this video. 
and it gave you some inspiration, reminded you of things, or just, you know, maybe you didn't know why did they put this in my journal. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.